Welcome, my friends, to the 2012 Zio election from hell, sponsored by our good friends on Wall Street and in Hollywood. Aren't you happy to live in a democracy? But let's call it what it really is, a Ziocracy, with the Zio media, Zio fed, Zio banksters like Goldman Sachs, and a Zio controlled government watching over us and protecting us. And now they give us a great choice for president, Zio Obama and Zio Romney. One man, one vote. We the people decide the next president, right? Zio casino magnate Sheldon Adelson pledges $100 million to Romney, and the Washington Post blatantly states that Zio money dominates both the Republican and Democratic Party. How unselfish of the Zionists to pay for our political campaigns. It's great to be programmed by the Zio campaign advertising, and thank goodness the Zio media tells us that the president's most important job is to send your money to Israel and to give trillions of dollars to the Zio banksters. The most important job of the president is to bankrupt our nation and spend our young men's blood and brains in the Zio wars. Long live the Zocracy. You should really thank Zionist Adelson. You don't need to contribute your measly hundred dollars to a campaign, a hundred dollars Let's see, that's a million times less than Sheldon's hundred million dollars. Aren't you proud to know that you have as much say in the election for president as your pet gerbil? And let's thank Obama's biggest historic contributor, George Ziosaurus. In the last election, Obama's biggest contributor corporately was none other than that true human rights bank, Goldman Sachs. This time, Goldman Sachs is Romney's biggest corporate bundled backer. How fun it is to play musical chairs to the Zio tune. Thanks to the Zionist bankers on Wall Street, they're so civic-minded that they're willing to finance our elections only though as a public service, we understand. Obama's been so controlled by the Zionists from his Harvard days that the Zio Chicago Tribune headlined him as, quote, the first Jewish president. Zionist political hitman David Axelrod and veteran of the Israeli army, not the American army, Rahm Emanuel, were Obama's handlers. But don't worry, the Zio devoted Romney, he's got the same guiding, caring people showing him the way. Besides, it's so great that a few hundred million in Zio campaign funds gets Israel billions of our dollars. Wow. That's good business and what a deal for America. Aren't you grateful to the Zio media for orchestrating the election? We know we can trust the Zio-owned New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Washington Post, Chicago Tribune, Los Angeles Times, because they always tell the truth, just like they did about Saddam's weapons of mass destruction. And now these Ziomites have their Zio sites on Iran. The Zio tribalists Wolf Blitzer and John Stewart are unbiased observers, right? But oy vey, it's hard work running the media, and the Zio conglomerates entertain us so well with intellectually and morally wonderful programs like the Kardashians. So of course, we can trust the Zio media to help us make a really good decision in this election because that's what Zionism is all about, helping people. Did you know that millions of Zionists moved all the way to Palestine to help Palestinians build better lives? They've taught the Palestinians to make the desert bloom by introducing new agricultural techniques. The Zionists have renovated Palestinian neighborhoods. They've built the world's largest gated community in Gaza. They've helped the Palestinians create a bustling hospital industry. They even babysit for thousands of Palestinian children. And they really put on a great fireworks display for the people of Gaza and Palestine. Leave it to the Zionists to know how to put on a good show. So I just can't wait for election night. The Zio media and Zio establishment have made sure that annoying third party candidates can't come in and spoil the fun by exposing the endless wars for Israel and the bailouts for the Zio banks and daring to defend that pesky constitution. How dare the constitution get in the way of drone attacks and 
torture and undeclared wars. If anyone really cares about the Bill of Rights, where are they? So thank you, Sheldon Adelson and George Soros and that torture advocate, Alan Dershowitz. And thank you, Goldman Sachs, for finding us two such nice candidates like Obama and Romney, the best candidates money can buy. And thanks for the endless wars driven by Zionist globalism. Thanks for the 400,000 brain damaged young Americans. And thanks for the economic bankruptcy. What a small price to pay to live in a wonderful Ziocracy. Remember folks, what's good for Israel and what's good for the Zio banksters is good for America. At least that's what the former APAC lobbyist and now unbiased newsman Wolf Blitzer tells us. And he'd never lie to us, right? Have no fear. Blitzer and his fellow tribal supremacists will pick you a great president figurehead for our wonderful Ziocracy. And don't worry, it'll be entertaining. All of it will be beautifully choreographed by the Weinstein Brothers Studios.